presentation that I usually do is about the most superficial subject of all time, which is how to be the best dressed man in the room. <laughs> or at least not to be the worst dressed man in the room, which is really the primary problem here. So you have to think about it this way, very simply. Dressing is not a chore. When you got your clothes together for this thing that you wanted to do, how did you put the clothes together? Did you take three t-shirts, or did you carefully select three t-shirts? Well, how did you do it? How much does it matter to you? Uh, dressing is about fundamentals. For a guy, it's a very simple thing. We're not girls that have all these complex rules that really nobody really understands very well, even themselves. It's not about vanity, it's just about actually caring a little bit. So, I'm going to define basically my rules between a few do's and a few don'ts, and when I say don't, what I really mean is, please don't. <laughs> really, thank you. Here's my whole one. And by the way, it's up to you. I'm not going to individually judge people here, like the black markers over the eyes and like all these other things, although I could. <laughs> but you guys can easily judge for yourselves whether it is you want to be doing or not doing. And style is personal. And so it has nothing to do with whether I think something is interesting or not. It's just about raising the bar for yourselves. But here's some interesting suggestions. Stop wearing clever t-shirts. <laughs> Your t-shirts are not actually clever. Also, graphic tees, same thing. <laughs> this really means you, all of you. This is not acceptable. <laughs> okay? MRE, affliction. I don't care if it says George St. Pierre on this thing. It doesn't matter to me. If your guy is a championship UFC guy, do not wear this shirt. Also, this is unacceptable. Assault and battery. Assault and battery. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> not funny. See, this guy is a slob, but immediately with the white t-shirt, it just works. So even though he is a slob, the white shirt just kind of helps everything work. Two, give up on sneakers and hiking boots. Please, God, hiking boots, stop it. I swear to God, this is okay. This is old school. You know, if it's kind of fashionable looking and nice, it's good. This is also acceptable, but this is not. <laughs> Some of you are looking at yourselves or not looking at other people. I know you know you're guilty. I don't need to say anything. Number three, please dress your age. Okay, hoodies at a certain age. I don't know how what the age is. Maybe it's 35. Maybe it's something else. I don't know, but it's not acceptable. If you're an old guy, dress like an old guy, and own it. Be like this guy. Do not be like this guy. <laughs> not acceptable. Number four, do not follow fashion. If you do, bad things will happen. Because what will happen is, is you'll, and you'll look at these old pictures, and all of us are guilty of this. You're looking at these old pictures and going, God, do I really look like that? It's horrible. Do not dress like a fashion model. Dress like a normal human being. But dress well. This guy, look at him. He's got a great shirt, great pair of pants, everything's well set up, nice haircut, everything's good. Dresses like a normal human being, but dresses well. Thank you very much. Five, have a style icon. George Clooney is good. He looks good in every picture. Leonard Cohen is great. Andre 3000. I have a personal one as well. This guy. But you have to think about who your style icon is going to be. Doesn't matter who it is. Somebody you like, you think he looks good. Look at him and go, you know what, I'm never actually going to look as good as this guy, but at least I'm going to try. Uh, who then you could choose some Norwegian metal guy who's totally cool. <laughs> Maybe someone with a mask, perhaps. <laughs> Up to you. Six, think about details. All of the major mistakes inside of fashion have to do with proportion and detail. So this is really cool because you see a little bit of cuff. There we go, this is the guy wearing suspenders. This is fucking awesome. This would be a normal outfit, except the glasses are a little bit too awesome, and the belt is fucking radical and probably from Africa. <laughs> Number seven, have a signature look. Look like somebody who is a little bit more awesome than you. For example, this guy, trying to be Salvador Dali or something like that. He's not Salvador Dali, but he's awesome enough to convince you that he is. This guy wears a beret. <laughs> Maybe an eye patch is for you. Maybe you need a scar. I don't care what it is, it doesn't matter to me. But have an item that you're known for. Have a thing that you choose and that you wear all the time. Maybe it's a bow tie, maybe it's a hat. It doesn't matter to me what it is, as long as it's done on purpose. You should not look like a blind man walking around trying to grab the clothes off the floor. Number eight, think about color. Color is an interesting thing. Blue, gray, and black do not cut it, people. Think about other 
other things. Look at these details, it's so beautiful. You've got the fucking pink shirt, and you've got these pink stripes across his fucking jacket. How great is this guy? This dude is awesome also. Even if you dress conservatively, a guy with a green tie all of a sudden really pops out. We've got options here, even if you're a young dude, you can kind of put it together. It looks like it was done on purpose. That's it, just dress like it was on purpose. Number nine, think about accessories. Think about your watch. It's one of the few things that a woman will notice on you. A pair of glasses that is well chosen is good too. Do not wear what every other Montreal wears with the fucking flat glasses that look like they come from diesel. Stop it. <laughs> Think about the details, pocket squares. If you're a dude and you're a little, if you're as awesome as this guy, just, just be this awesome. <laughs> I don't know how, but find, find a way. Number 10, get a barber. A good one. Okay? When you see this, think back to the days where what it used to mean was blood and uh, bandages. And get yourself a barber that will be able to make the best out of who you are. Think about this guy. Look at, see, it's just a regular dude dressed in a regular way, but he finds a way to make it all clean, nice, everything. Eleven, wear clothes that fit. Do not be like an old guy that wore the things from when he was up 75 pounds overweight. Even a guy who dresses like a fucking slob can still look good if his clothes fit. Hand your goddamn pants, people! This is not acceptable. This is better. This is even better. This is not. Some of you, you know who you are. Okay, guys, this is it. Get a tailor. If you do not have a tailor, I have a great recommendation for you. If you don't have one, you will end up looking like you're wearing your parents' clothes. You can make a $300 suit look like a $2,000 suit. And I have a great guy in Montreal that's super good. This is it. This is all I have to say. It's very few, very simple things. I would like the world to dress more like this, look more like this, so all of us end up looking like this. Thank you very much. <laughs>